Hold up, I just remembered something. Yep. Yes. Normal. I just remembered there's actually something different about a second cycle. Something right at the start, even. That I can show off. You can now get to choose this. It does, in fact, have a result. Although I don't remember which one I want. It doesn't matter. Actually, let's take that. I'm pretty sure if you actually want to play, you want the top one, but... You know, showing off new stuff. Yeah. You can give the Dami Feet a new name if you so choose. I won't, because I'm lazy. Come on. Hold on a sec. Goddamn Japanese and their reversed names. Oh wait, that's correct. Whoops. The originality is strong in this one. No, it isn't. This is the same as before. I could take the effort to give her a different name, but... Again, effort. If you want to read this, you can just go back to the first video. So this apparently is a different outfit than... Cass had before. Anyone remember Isamu's last name? Like seriously? So yeah! We have a new outfit! Except... We're gonna lose it as soon as the conception begins, so... That is pointless. More to the point, if I can remember the button. If I even have that button assigned to anything, I don't know. Yes, I do. The game now has... Oh god, um... First person... View. Yeah. It's, um... Oh, for Foxy, do I actually have to talk to you? Yeah. So you can now play for the entire game as this. So... Even if you did keep your new outfit in the... Uh, post-conception... You are also given the opportunity to not see it. I'm sorry, game, but this is just flat out ridiculous. Hello, Ijiri. Just so you know, I do know what this who this guy is supposed to be. I mean, outside of his whole, he's a mannequin, dude. 
Supposedly, he is actually the protagonist from Shin Megami Tensei 2. Yes, there is a Shin Megami Tensei 1 and 2. There's even a Megami Tensei 1 and 2. I've heard of what have never been translated officially. And I've never played them. But yeah. Hijiri is supposedly the protagonist from SMT2, whose default name is Alf. The Mortal City committed? Well, that's him beating the final boss in the uh, in his respective game. Yada yada yada. I'm just gonna skip ahead to the uh to Hikawa here. Actually I'm gonna skip to something interesting. If you remember, there was a vending machine on the second floor here. Somewhere there. So Is that mysterious drink the Soma you're supposedly able to get at this point? Also, let us now go this way. And find out that Isama arbitrarily decided to check out the other hallway. Cass can just never win. With his friends, at least. Funny, why don't you have this in the uh, new game? Oh, you. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Anyway, skipping to something interesting. Finally! And again, why'd I say I record this again? Because there's nothing here. Nothing new, at least. Oh, Hikawa. I actually let you win once. Thanks to me, you won. Once. And suddenly, he summons a pop of it. Does anyone remember seeing a pop of it in uh, the Hilo's army? The boss battle music does not wish to be interrupted. I do not give a fuck. Oh uh, boy. This naturally is a throwback to SMT 1 and 2, the uh, first person thing. Hello, Lucifer. I'd like to see, you know, a kid that isn't the devil wearing that outfit. I mean, seriously. It's just... Doesn't look right. None of his dialogue changes, I don't think. And if it does, then, well, guess what you can do? Okay, for God's sake, I'm a bit tired of all that lag shit. Especially after the fucking Lucifer fight. Well, 
what her true feelings are. What would that be? Inferiority? You know, I'd analyze all of his game's uh, information again, just playing it again, but... I'm pretty sure very few people would want to see me play through this entire game again. Well, very few people want to see me play through the game a first time. Why, they, why would anyone want to see it a second time? Still, I s aren't quite done yet. There is still some interesting stuff, so... And hey, Conception! In which the round world becomes rounder by God. Don't tell me if you forgot that NPC. Oh, and in case you noticed, Lucifer has a picture, a portrait of uh, Kagatsushi in his little theater area. Speaking of Kagatsushi, there's everyone's favorite disco ball. Yeah. One of the problems in this game is that the Demi Fiend always starts without a reason or anything. He's just nameless dude that hasn't been done doing anything in his entire life. Of course, it'd be pretty difficult to, you know, give him a reason in the first five minutes of the game. Besides which, even if he did have a reason, this would kind of negate the point of it. Hello, Marogarif. Your pierce was awesome, and now you're going to pierce me, oh god. Why am I still recording this? Ah, that's right. Shits and giggles. And there you go. Yet again, Cass becomes a demon. He was cursed by uh, the Great Will and shit, so I guess that makes sense. And look, the new outfit we got has been completely removed. Never to be seen again for the next 60 hours of playtime. That's, um... It's a brilliant move, Atlas. Of all the things you could have done, that was right up there in terms of useful. I know what a command button is, thank you. But as I said, the outfit does have an effect. If you notice my stats, they're actually higher. I have two extra points of magic and one extra point of agility. That's what the shirt does. If you go off the hood, I think you get strength and vitality, so that is more useful. Now I can play this game like a proper dungeon crawler. Except I don't care to do that. So yeah. That is all of that. And unless I... Oh shit. You don't want to save that. Ah, oh, whatever. Anyways. I know, Hijiri. Anyway, unless I run into something really interesting, 
I'll see you in Shibuya, where I can show you off... show off... The next fun thing, so see you there. Oh, here's something interesting. That item I bought! It is indeed a Soma! Yeah. Playing a game like this is really annoying. But yeah. Indeed, that is how you get the Soma! Hallelujah! These guys still do crap damage. And I went with the bad look, so... I'm not as powerful as I should be. It's only three points of statistics, but still. This early in the game, it does make a difference. Level! Gimme. Nice! Getting stat boost this early is very good. I don't like that works for Lucifer. Anyway, as said, I'll see you in, Shib in Shibuya unless I find something interesting. Okay, so this might be fun. In my rush, I'm gonna fight Fornius with this. I'm not gonna lie, if I'm gonna die in this run, then this is the place. I mean, I have his weakness covered and all, but... I just really low level. Well. Zan isn't as good to do for her. Zio! Boink. Fuck. Zio! Boink, 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 boink. Ah, the days I had to kill this guy in two turns. The day I could kill him in one, because... This guy is not immune to hammer. Get stunned, damn it. Nope. Ah, boo -foo. That guy is looking a little weak there. Finally, the result I desire. Okay. Fornius is just that sad. Yeah, pretty much everyone got a level there. More strength, because I just want to kill everything. Akunda. Bead. Bead. Holy shit. And the Makatama. So, that's how low level you can be and still beat Fornius if you get the level. Uh, you get his weakness. That's pretty awesome. Well, see you in Shibuya. Maybe. Ah, good old Shibuya. Finally. That starfish is gonna be waiting for a long ass time. But now for the interesting thing. The Cathedral of Shadows. Since this is a new game plus, there is one detail in the Cathedral of Shadows that is a bit different. This difference is awesome. I have access to my the compendium right off the start, and everything is still here. Admittedly, I'm have enough money to get. Um, well, pretty much nothing. But more to the point, 
There is no more level limit on fusions. I can fuse whatever the damn hell I please. High level or not, I can. Zan and Zeal on this guy would be nice. Yep, it's an entire game of this. Again. So, yeah. There's probably interesting stuff you can do with this, but... Um, yeah, I'm not gonna go far enough in the game to really explore the possibilities, so... Sad. One thing, though. If you are rich as all hell, you can indeed get shit like Metatron and Shiva in your party again. It costs an arm and a limb, but if you remember, there is 250,000 mecha waiting for you in the second Galva. But yeah. That's a great big difference between the, uh... Between the... Between the new and a, and a second cycle. Of course, I still have to buy all this shit and stuff. So, yeah. I'll, uh, be back when there's something interesting.